Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to some more wonderful Wobulus Project Zomboid. We are on episode four, I believe. And uh, we're just kind of getting the basics all set up. I am kind of, I don't want to say I'm surprised I'm still alive, but things are way more difficult in Q than they were in uh, when I was playing was L. Um, with that, though, comes some bug fixes and some new bugs. Obviously, the physics are not quite nailed down in Q, so beating somebody um, <laughs> with a bat fully charged kind of sends them a good distance, to say the least. Oh, no. Whoa. I almost burned it. Oh, I did burn it. Well, I'll eat it up. Yeah, I'm a little bit bored. And it's time for sleep, apparently. Apparently, I logged off during the night. I don't remember that part. But that's fine. We can take care of that. Um, I did a lot of uh, grocery shopping, I guess, last episode, we'll call it. Swinging. Yeah, let's put on just swinging. Eh! <sighs> swinging or hauling? Hauling. Right now, getting into fights is not what I want to do anyway, so... I don't mind. We'll do some chips. We'll take those with us. Let's wait for some daytime to hit. Slept not as much. I think because I went to bed way earlier than I wanted to. Alright, don't worry. I'm leaving. I'm becoming unhappy. Um, let's kill off some of this boredom. Newspaper. Alright. Let's head into town. Do some checking around. I can't tell if it's the music that's making all that zombie noise, so I'm a little afraid to... I... Th I think it's the music, but we're gonna check real quick. Yeah, it's the music. Oh, thank god. I was a little afraid there for a minute, because I wasn't quite sure. Let's do a neighborhood clearing. I'd really want to... I especially this playthrough, the idea is to keep the zombie numbers as low as I can. Um just because of how combat works. Was he behind the frickin' tree? Where'd he go? Yeah. Apparently that tree was completely obscuring my vision here. Yeah, see that? That right there. Broken physics, essentially. Take the sheet. This house is already way more of a mess than it should be. I can't even count on this to run into. It's not safe. Just kind of cut through real quick, clear it out if we can. Oh, no, oh no, no, we cannot. All right, not nearly as safe over in the neighborhood as it was last time. So let's go. I think actually this episode we're gonna set up a secondary safe house. I think I want to get that up as soon as I can, just because of how dangerous it seems to be going down here. So priorities for a secondary safe house outside of safety is getting some food and some some typical survival survival items there. Where do I want the secondary safe house to be? I don't think the apartments is what I want, to be honest with you. I want something that's going to be maybe a floor up. Maybe a floor up. Let's ch Why can't I get over there? Is that broken? Is there a wall there that I just can't see? Let's see what's up here. Let's check out the apartment up here. Um, I'm just debating, do I want it this close? Because if it's this, this is actually really close to my main safe house. And, uh, yikes. And the problem... This give me happiness. Pi should give you happiness. The problem with that is that zombies, meaning they, meaning the zombies don't have to wander far to find me, and uh, that is not exactly what I want. So I'm thinking not this close, not this close at all. We could try to venture out to the barn, but the farm way out in the middle of nowhere is. And that's exactly the problem. It's way on the middle of nowhere. And that's my last resort. When things get so desperate that I need to leave city, I am going to take all my supplies and head to the barn. The farm. I keep saying the barn. Same thing, right? 
some excitement. <laughs> well, I'm working on that part. Some blood here. Follow the blood trail. Looks like it stops here. Eh, looks like he probably got eaten right about here. If he survived, I don't know where his blood trail went off. Let's take a quick dive into here. Um, I'm just thinking, where could I go? I could go into the city. It might not be a bad idea to set up a secondary safe house in the city, now that I think about it. Which is actually back this way. Which I think I'm going to do. We'll spend the night there. So I'm not worried about staying out too late right now, just because... Uh, it looks like there was definitely some fights going on here. Sheets, I'm going to take the sheets. Because I'm going to need to board up windows. No, but there's a tools, and I'm going to dive in there for the tools for sure. Make sure there's nothing behind me. Alright, let's get into the tools real quick. Get in and get out. Gonna grab a hacksaw mainly and see if there's maybe an axe in here. Alright, not safe to stay in here. Some food. But we're gonna grab a hacksaw. That's about it. I'm not worried about building doors right now. So we're gonna get out. Let's head down this way. Dive in, out. Look at all this. This is not for me, is it? Was this for me, actually? Uh, I want to head in there, but... Yikes! Okay. Gotta go. See if I can dive around here. Hmm. It might be just too dangerous to head to the city tonight, so... And I'm not gonna go home, so we'll just, uh... Well, let's see if there's an axe in here. Do some basic... Survival. Gonna take that. Take those mugs, I guess. I'm gonna eat the lollipop. Some beans. I guess I could take that. I'm getting really tired, though. So, I'm gonna have to bounce out of here. There's some good stuff here. We're gonna have to come back. Let's, uh... Let's get upstairs. Let's spend the night upstairs. Yeah, let's see. They're moving stuff. They're trying to get in. This could be a bad place for me tonight. Worst comes to worst, I'll throw a rope out the window and head out the window. Um, how exhausted am I? Let's see if we can wait it out a little bit. I'm curious how bad it is down there right now. Let's see if we can get out of here. Not bad, not bad. This this would probably be the way out right here. Alright, we can get out of here. See you later. Zombie spazzing out. Alright. From the looks of it, at least right now, we're going to take a different route to the city. This is dangerous. I don't know if you can see me swirl on my mouse, but it's very dangerous. Burn a couple Zeds and try to get home safely. Taking the long way home, obviously. Really, I'm much faster than they are.
Yep, alright, I should be safe. Should be is the key word. Just wanna get home. I gotta think a better plan of attack. Zombies spawned pretty harsh and pretty heavily lately. Without an axe and the combat system being much more difficult, which I like, makes it much more dangerous to head outside. Let's cook a steak. And eat it. That'll make him happy. And really full. So what did I get? I got a bunch of stuff. The apple's gonna go in the fridge. Canned food's gonna go in here. Snacks are gonna stay with me. I am going to down these and put some water in them. Got some stuff to put some water in. Okay. And I'll re-top off this guy. Tools, we got hacksaw. Very good to have. Some canned beans to put away. God, the music is loud today. Alright, go put the water away. Um, yeah. It's so dangerous. We're going to try and head into, We are going to try and get up a secondary safe house. I just don't want to risk death, so if I find... Uh... We'll find out what to do. Extra water. Throw in one of these water bottles. I have two on me, I didn't realize. Alright, let's head out. Come on, close the door. And you might be wondering why it's important to close doors in the middle of the house. Let me explain real quick. It's Simple explanation, to be honest with you. If you come home and a door is open, then you know immediately somebody's been in there. And you can start scavenging to see what you've been missing. I think that'll become more of a problem in the later stages of this game, when the AI is a bit smarter. But it's just, I think, in my opinion, it's just a very good habit to get into right now. And uh, you can't go wrong with it. It's just something smart and so simple to do. So we're going to go run by Spiffos over here. Ugh. Look at them all. Oh, man. This is like their, their place right now, so... Let's get out of here. Bob and Weave do a little bit of walking. Save up some energy. Gonna go down this way, and then immediately head down this way. Okay. So Spiffos is over there. Here's some f stuff. This should be a lot of food over here. I want to see if I can grab it, as much of it as I can while I'm here. Whoops. And then just jump over the fence. I can kill off this guy. Oh, he went down with a quick swing. Okay, that's the soccer field. Let's see if we can some zombies. Could be a person around here. We're gonna jump the fence though. We just want to get away from them. And now we can start looking. Anywhere is good to be honest with you. Anywhere with a second floor is gonna be relatively smart. Um, the idea, the the my ideal is a second floor, a small second floor apartment type of area where there's not a lot of windows but uh, at least two ways out. So that's that's the idea. It's the mall. Maybe finding one near the mall might not be a bad idea. This is terrible, and the reason is it's a bajillion windows at the front. Absolutely horrendous place to set something up. Now, it wouldn't be so bad if there was a second floor to it, because a bunch of windows means a bunch of new exits. Let's, uh...
one zombie. This looks like it's going to be a bad spot. Broken windows and a bunch of them at that. A bunch of windows in general. But we can at least head out down this way. And this is going to be just for me when I know I need to go deep um, into an area. And I don't necessarily want to go home and risk going home. There's a lot of stuff in there that I could easily get. Whoa, no, I just went between cells. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Did not want to do that. Uh, that's going to cause the music to skip, so feel free to... Well, you can't really mute it. Oh, okay, music turned off. That's fine. Go back. Didn't mean to do that. Hopefully it'll be fixed next next time I load up the game. I didn't know this was a cell that I could jump over here. It led immediately to forest, which is bizarre. Now we're not going to have music, but I hope that's alright with you guys. It's alright with me. So the seahorse coffee. What else can we find? I'm going to have to eat some stuff. Give my guy some sort of going power. Let's go in here. Be honest, I'm really picky about where I want to spend spend like a safe house. So <laughs> it may very well come down to I don't think any of them are good enough. This is terrible. This is horrendous. This is god awful. You don't want that. I was up there, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was up there. It may end up being my second safe house. It may not ever come to fruition. I may just decide to set one up not too far from my house, just for emergency situations, I think. Yeah, and here's Spiffos, meaning I can swing up that way, and I can head home that way. I'm trying to kill off as many as I can. Thin out the horde at least a little bit. Oh, no, 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 come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. I'm exhausted. Gonna have to crash in Spiffos for the night. Kill off this guy. There needs to be, like, a nap option. I do not feel safe doing this. Is there a booth? Yep. I don't feel safe doing this. Oh, that was... Somehow I survived the night. I shouldn't be so picky. I should have just slept somewhere. But I was exhausted and didn't want to pass out. I still don't have an axe. Alright, let's head home. Let's hope there's not too much over here as far as zombies go. kill these guys for my safety all right let's keep going let's head home or at least attempt to oh dear god all right I gotta go the long way Zombie spawn rate this time around is rough. Yikes. All 
Alright. Secondary safe house is going to have to be in here. Because the city is just not safe enough as far as how the buildings are constructed. And uh, I'm going to need a place to hide out when shit like that's going on. So I think... I'm going to do it near the construction building. Oh, come on, really? Alright, so... This is definitely not ideal. See, I can't even put them over that. I can put them over... That. So I'm going to go out there and clear them out. Whatever's over here. Do some clearing. My bat's almost dead. So swing out this way, kind of pull them this way, and then do one of these. Come up here. Alright, this is where. Hopefully they'll get bored. Oh, come on. So, so why is it going on the outside of the window? Really? Come on. So stupid. And I can't even do anything with it. Oh, there we go. Now it's working for some reason. Alright. I'm not going to be too picky about organization here. Uh, I'm just going to put some stuff away. I would prefer... Yeah, empty. A little bit of water stock. But, and they're in. Which door did they come in? I have to go clear them out. I do. Why am I using... Oh, my bat broke. That's unfortunate. Uh-oh. Time to go. Oh. And I'm really hungry. Alright, I'm going home. Getting home. That's the goal. Getting home for the night is the goal now. This is not going well at all. Yeah, now I'm getting tired, which is great. Just diving through some stuff here. Long way, of course. Uh, he, ran, he ran a good distance there without running out of steam, which is good. 
All right, so we're st we've got the starts of a secondary home. It's a little dangerous. Then again, zombie spawn rate pretty much is uh, much higher than it was in L, so it's uh, just going to be dangerous in general. So we're home. I'd say we're safe enough here. Yeah, that's going to be it. We'll, we'll fast forward to the night, go to bed, and that's going to be it, I think, for this episode. The first Monday episode. The first episode on the real schedule, so perfect. Sleep. I did level. We're going to jump up our swinging a bit. Done. And we're good. So I will see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, I know I did. And I'll see you guys later.